Jordan has a question here. So we have some challenges here with athlete engagement in our AMS. So how do you incentivize and enforce engagement in the daily AMS? Mm -hmm. I think uh, Jordan means like saying wellness questionnaires. For example, I guess. Yeah, RPE scores after a game, every time after a training session, filling in the how you feel, what you have done. Jordan, it's a really good, really good question. It's sometimes it's a tricky one for me also, it's especially with, with younger athletes that are a little bit less structured than the, the hmm. pros. When they are 25, 26, they have a good structure, they have good work-life balance, etc. But younger athletes, it's a really difficult one. And for me, I used to do a lot of continuous monitoring, but I, I don't do it anymore. Because why? Because sometimes I, I got the feeling that players were not honest anymore. They just filled in really fastly, uh, first of all. And second of all, I, as a coach, always have to go behind the players, ask them, did you fill it in already? Yes or no? So it, it doesn't come from them. It uh, mainly comes from you to ask what what they have done, etc. And I think, or you can have some kind of good education towards these players and the why. Tell them, okay, try to explain them why are we doing this. And really good to try to get, go to a little bit more scientific-based approach. Explain them why we do this because, yeah, you need to, for a certain moment, you need to see what their load they're at. And uh, you can't go to, a, for example, a really high acute load and uh, a chronic load that is really low. Uh, so these kind of things are really important. So education, educate about them, make it really easy, I think, for them to fill it in. That's also a, a really good one. Not too much questions, one or two, mm. maximum three. Because if they go, if you go over three, a lot of players, they go down because they, it's too much time. It's consuming. So, and if you really want to have good data about these things, you need to do it at a daily basis. If you do it only two or three times a week, forget it. You don't have good data. So, so it's a little bit one way or the other way, one way you do it, but then daily and honestly. And second, you don't do it and everything mm -hmm. in between. I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of everything in between. So that's, <laughs> but for sure, it's something even on the highest level, they have issues with it. And that's why I think the systems that give you objective data, like continuous data, like for example, the whoop armband that guys are wearing all the time and that you can have an output in your cloud system without that they have to do something for you. That's for sure. It's a better system because yeah, you have the data, you have objective data and you have a daily, but I really understand your question eh? for sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And if I can Education. add to that, yeah, absolutely. And if I can add to that, uh, I think that it, there, there's value in having perceived data next to objective mm -hmm. data, because that also tells a story, mm -hmm. but the main part to, to get that athlete engagement there is make sure that the data that they, that you're asking from them is something that is useful to them as well in, in their day to day. And yeah, when you're dealing with younger athletes, it's sometimes difficult to make them realize that being a top sport athlete is something that you do 365 mm -hmm. days a year, 24 hours yeah, a day. Sure. So that mm -hmm. all these things matter and are important. And younger athletes sometimes have difficulties managing that in their life. And sometimes that's just, just yeah, the part of growing up as an athlete as well. But the main part mm -hmm. there, I think, is make sure that the data that you're asking is relevant to them as well. I think that that is a cool yeah, one. Yeah, for sure.